How thin can you pour concrete? <laughs> there are a lot of different concrete applications, so if you want to know how thin you can pour your concrete, we're going to have to cover a little bit of ground here. First of all, the standard bags of pre-mixed concrete that you get from the store, the, the most basic stuff, that will be about one and a half inches. If you read the bag, it'll tell you it's, it's ideally no thinner than one and a half inches because it's just not that strong. But in that description, they're talking about structural applications like sidewalks and pothole repairs and things like that. And yeah, an inch and a half for sure. But what if you're doing like a decorative concrete application? Does it have to be inch and a half thick? And the answer is no, not at all. You can go, you could go thinner, probably right down to about half of an inch, five eighths of an inch, something around that. Anything less than that, if you're talking three eighths or one quarter inch for sure, a regular concrete mix is just, it's not going to be strong enough. It's, it's going to break. It has so little tensile strength that that thickness, it, it just would break immediately. And there are things that you can do. There are ways that you can make concrete go thinner than that, but not the regular stuff. You have to look towards more advanced concrete mixes. Here's one right here. Overlay concrete is designed to be a very thin layer that goes over old concrete. Let's say I had some really old gross concrete, didn't like the look of it at all, and I want to refresh it and rehab it without having to jackhammer it all out and replace it with new concrete at great expense. You do an overlay. Well, that's no good if you can only go an inch and a half thickness. Now all of the elevations are wrong for all of the steps and stuff like that. So an overlay is heavily modified with admixtures like polymers, and these will allow you to go all the way down to a feather edge. Feather edge means zero. So you can basically just run it right down to zero. Yes, if you just had that like in the air in here, it's gonna break like a cracker, but if you patch or parge, uh, let's say you've got a hole that you need to fix, and it needs to feather edge at the edge, a regular sand and cement mix, it's going to fail on that feather edge guaranteed. Anything up to a half inch minimum, going to fail for sure. But if you use one of these more advanced mixtures, you can get down to a feathered edge. The catch is that these advanced mixtures also aren't made to go thick. So if you need to go thicker than about a half inch or so, now this isn't the right one as well. So you're kind of left with that middle ground there. How do you deal with that? And the way that you would do so would be something like one of these products here. There are a lot of different admixtures that you could get for concrete. This is an acrylic fortifier. Acrylic and latex are great admixtures for concrete as they increase a couple of the different strength properties. But one of the things that it does is it allows you to go with that feathered edge more. There is more flexibility in con the concrete that has an acrylic or latex additive, a high concentration thereof, something like this top and bond product here. I don't want to call it flexible cement because if you were to have it in your hand, it would appear to be rigid, but to a very small degree, it can handle some flexation before it just cracks and breaks. And that's unique in the world of concrete because that's something that regular concrete doesn't have. And you achieve that through the use of advanced admixtures. Something like this top and bond here, if you're going to do very, very thin stuff, but if you're just wanting to work with a regular concrete mix that you need to go a little bit thinner than normal, something like this. Replace 10% of the liquid content in the mix design that you're using with an acrylic or latex fortifier product. I hope you found this information helpful.